I cannot believe I'm sitting here doing this right now. I just bought Bruno Fernandes for a million coins, dude. This guy is a million coins on this game right now. One million coins. I don't know why. To be fair, this card looks kind of good. But a million coins is crazy. This card, I mean, this guy in the league can also be 50k. So it shows you the power of the GGMU. And look, a couple winter refresh cards that I want to try out this week. But this guy was the number one. Number one player I wanted to try out. EPL Cam. Man United links, you know, Portuguese links, crazy, crazy high rated card. And I said, you know what? Let's just try him out. Let's see how he is. Is he the real deal? If you guys enjoy the video today, drop a thumbs up. This review is actually going to be off stream. Um, so maybe a little bit more focus going into it, but you know, we, we treat him either way the same. Very, very with the utmost intensity, boys. Thank you guys for the support on the first Icon Moments review yesterday, guys. There's going to be an Icon Moments review. I'm going to try to get one. Almost every day on the channel. I'm, I'm going to try to hold myself to getting five Icon Moments reviews a week for you guys. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Um, and there will be a playlist again as I talk about in most videos. There will be a playlist available. So high, high work rates. Uh, four star, four star. High, high is very, very good for a cam. I love that, they, that he's got that combination of work rates. I'm very, very into that. Um, he's got 89 overall rating, 88 pace, 89 shooting, 91 passing, 90 dribbling, and 79 physical. So really nice stats there. This guy is actually extinct on the market. Uh, so if you guys go onto the market right now, he's not on the market. Um, he's like literally, he was extinct yesterday at 700 and now at a mill, he's literally just, you, you can't find him. So good luck to anybody trying to, trying to buy this card. Um, this will be more of a review that maybe you get a sense of how he plays or how he doesn't play. Uh, and you look into using him in a little while, because at the moment, I just don't think you're going to be able to buy this card in the market. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how it's like, like just he's extinct, man. He's just not on the market. So, you know, it is what it is. So let's put him into the team. Let's talk about him a little bit. Um, and be before we get into the video, um, I want to take a look and just kind of, I always make sure I, we're looking at traits and stuff. Does he have traits? Outside foot shot trait, flare shot, and leadership. Now, we don't know too much what all those traits do, but looks solid nonetheless. So, we look at the card a little bit. Uh, he's got 90 acceleration. He's got 86 sprint speed. Very good for a cam. His attack positioning at 86 is decent. His finishing at 82 is very low for a car that's a million coins and is out of cam spot. Shot power at 95 is good. Long shots at 94 also good. Volleys and penalties look good as well. His vision is at 92. His crossing is at 89. His free kick accuracy is 91. Short passing is at 89. Long passing at 91. That's going to be right away the thing that I'm looking at this car is saying, okay, this guy is going to be really good at passing 100%. Going to be a great passer on the ball. He's got 82 agility, 83 balance, which actually is not that good as well with the finishing. Uh, so right away, I already know what I'm going to put on this guy. 88 reactions, 92 ball control, 90 dribbling, and 91 composure. I love that his composure is over 90. He actually has some defensive stats, which makes me think, hey, you don't actually have to play this guy as a cam. If you wanted to, guys, if you're looking at this card, you could play him as a 4 one 2 narrow center mid, almost like I do with Kevin De Bruyne's team of the year. And you can use him as a box-to-box -to, -box to shoot long shots. That's kind of what I think you could do uh, because he does have some of the defensive stats that are around the 70s, which that's always the benchmark, right? Like Bobby Firmino is kind of the benchmark for what you guys could do for a center mid. And Firmino has like low 60s on his 88, not his scream so you know and then the cool thing is he's got 98 stamina so box to box if you want to use him uh, on basic defense support for the camp spot you have good stamina his strength is pretty good at 71 but what we're doing with this card guys we are 100 percent i think you guys know what we're going to apply we're applying the sniper camp style and the reason why we're doing that is because we need to boost the finishing and we need to boost that agility and balance we have to do it man it's not good enough uh, at the moment where it is so with the sniper camp style we're talking 97 finishing 91 attack positioning, 99 volleys, 99 penalties, 92 agility, 88 balance, uh, 93 reactions, 97 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 96 composure. So this chemistry style should help him feel a little bit more responsive. And that's obviously the goal that we're trying to do. We're trying to get him to feel just a little bit more responsive. I think that's always the, the deal with cards this year. You're trying to make sure that these guys are feeling good when you're playing in delay. You don't know what gameplay conditions you're ever going to head into. So that's very important. But I'm excited to try this guy out, man. Like, you know, this is the first time, like, I think I've even used the Portuguese menu player since Nani in FIFA. So it's been a long time since, you know, I, I, I tried something like this, um, I guess I guess you could say. Now, I don't want to use Aubameyang up top. We're going to try out this Clivert. I haven't even used him, but we're going to take a look at this Clivert because he looks fun. And Aubameyang, man, I already know the deal with Aubameyang. I think with this Clivert... We're also going to use an engine if we have an engine. We do have an engine. Um, thank you guys for all the support of the reviews, man. I really enjoy uploading to this channel. I've really up, like, enjoyed the videos that I post on this channel. So thank you guys. And shout out to you guys that just enjoy them as much as I do. So 4 one 2 and 2 narrow is the way we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to play Sané at center mid just because who cares. Um, and then Bruno at cam with Clivert up top. 
is how we'll do it. So we're gonna keep Bruno on stay forward, um, and that's what I wanna that's what I wanna use on him because I want him to be involved in the attack. I do not want him to kind of like hinder away from my attacks. It's very important that he's involved in the attacks. He's a million coins, so we gotta we, guys. The thing with these reviews, man, and I'm, sometimes you guys watch these videos, you're like, Nick, you scored eight goals. Why do you not like the card? And it's like, guys, you have to be realistic and hard on these cards, right? You gotta understand what are these cards good for, and and give it. The, you gotta give it the real like 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 evaluation you can't just sit here and, and stat pad and say every card's insane so we gotta evaluate this guy man because he's a million coins so we gotta be like yo is he really that good or is he lacking and for that price could i go and get somebody better that's what i'm looking at today again guys if you enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up we're gonna look for our first game we got a game let's go uh let's see who our first upcoming uh opponent is today let's see who we got guys so first upcoming opponent it is going to be a funny team name and the team itself is pretty meta um he's got like some gold metas like some so i call those like those are like baby metas right because they're not really like top meta zh is a fun card promise is a fun card let's see what happens that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances that was a really sluggish first touch this particular setup well, Messi is just that I mean look I try to take on Tagliafico but that was like a, a weak showing there well to get a hundred goals from any position is given away finish that Bruno the post man he's got to score that big opportunity man big opportunity Work, being energetic, creative, really good first half. What we got for the second nice pass. Visionary passing. To Daniel James, finish it. Let's go. We get on the board. All right, 1 0 up, guys. A nice pass from Bruno Fernandez there. Finally, some action. And we get a final product there. A wonderful bit of skill. What a pass from Bruno. Finish it. Oh, so close. The combo play was so nice there. Nice goal from Adama there, man. This guy subbed in as Adama headliner. He's been giving me the sauce. And I can't score, honestly, man. I'm not really loving this attack right now. Bruno is not feeling great at Cam. Feeling very unreliable. Uh, it almost feels like I'm not playing with a Cam. Let's go, Bruno! <laughs> oh, let's go, baby. We dragged back the keeper in the 90th minute. We went a little bit ballsy there, but the risk... Uh, the risk held a high reward. It paid off. We get on the board. We finally score Bruno Fernandez. And as okay. This is our next opponent, boys. Take a look. Get ready. Nice pass. Bruno. What a finish. Great goal. Nice drag back. And a great goal there against Davinson Sanchez. Hit the post, which was like a little bit. Like, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe this is gonna be a posted out, but. Losing possession on Golo Conte. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Bruno, finish that. Ah, oh, so one thing I noticed so far is that even on his weak foot four star, because his finishing is low pre chemistry style, he cannot score on that weak foot from that angle. It's the second time I try that now. And it just hasn't worked out, man. So, damn it, man. That's annoying. That was a finishable, definitely a scorable shot right there. Giving the ball away now. What a goal. Finish it again. He can't finish it on that. And it's on his weak foot. But you guys always tell me in the reviews, test the weak foot. Nice pass. Clivert. Oh, it's lovely from Clivert. What a finish, man. I've never used really Clyburn much in FIFA, but lovely goal, lovely pass from Dan James. Would love to see that. Bruno made a nice run there, too, which was some good attack positioning to see. He definitely made a really nice run there. Clyburn doing the business, man. Bruno! Got him! Oh, my lord. So close, man. Damn it, bro. Obviously, I'm not going to beat Conte, even though I want to. I had nothing there, so I stopped it. Bruno! Let's go, man. Nice dribbling there. 
great finish. That was a really nice drag back slash dribbling combination. And that was, again, another weak foot finish that time. Instead of the near post, it was a cross net. Uh, so instead of going the straight angle, we were shooting across the goal. And he finished the top, found the top corner, man. That was some nice dribbling, I think. I don't know, his, I don't know exactly who his center backs were, but pretty good finish considering his center backs. Sol Campbell and Davis Sanchez. <laughs> All right. Next opponent. Solid. I hate long lay, man. I don't know what it is about long lay in this game, but I hate playing against long lay, man. I really, really hate it. With Patrick Clivert. Got his body in front of the opponent and protected the ball well. Bruno, finish shot. shot oh, the post. The post. the post. the post is premiering, boys. The episode, the movie, The Post. It's premiering, boys. James. This might be it. Clivert. The post, man. Another post. Why? Shoot. Yes. Let's go, Clivert. Let's go. Patrick Clivert. Let's go, baby. Ah. Okay. That's some decent defending from Bruno. I mean, we just saw some defending. Some defending there from our cam. And we get a ball roll and shot with Daniel James, a.k.a. Dan James. And we'll be the keeper. So we go 2-0. And hopefully securing another win on this video. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. It could be a chance. Bruno! Let's go! What a turn! A nice finish as well. We took the extra touch in the final third. It's kind of have that bit of composure to square up and get it on his... We actually... I think we scored that on his weak foot as well, which is like another instance of us kind of using his weak foot a little bit and, and doing well with that, um, which is definitely like solid. Solid man. It's good to see the it's good to see the uh it's good to see the goals going on somebody's weak foot, man. That's always what you guys uh you guys want to see, especially when you're paying this many coins for a card. So that is gonna be the review for Bruno Fernandez today. And you know, it's not worth it. It's not worth it for a million coins, this guy. Um like for the value, Mason Mount was the same, if not better. This card is is expensive because of hype. And I thought it was that way, but I wanted to test him out because I've never really used Bruno Fernandez in FIFA. Um, but he is not really that good. He does lack in a couple things. I think overall, even with the sniper chemistry side, I boosted his finishing as much as I could. Something about his finishing is still a little bit off. He, he you know, he had a couple posts at good angles. We did score four goals and had an assist in three games, but I didn't love that. I thought the positioning was a little weird. Um... I just think that there's better options at the camp spot for the price. Like, I've used Baby Zola, who's really good. I think, like, maybe a version of Del Piero, Prime Bird Camp. I think you have some other cards that you can slot in to have four-star, four-star, or more at the cam roll. Uh, and I also just think even in the Prem, like, like, that Mason Mount card I used was a little bit better than this Bruno card. I don't think Bruno's bad. I'm not saying he's bad today, boys, but he's not worth this amount of coins. I probably wouldn't pay over 300 k for this card just it's not it's not that type of card it's not that type of card that's going to be revolutionary i think if you guys are really 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 wanting to use this card i would not use him as a cam i would drop him to center mid and put some kind of anchor like a like a physical or a sh or a defensive boost on him with pace and try to rock out with that because he was def he did make some good defensive plays at times during the game um so this is our first winter refresh review you guys know i'm always telling you how it is didn't love him didn't think he was worth the coins um but good that we tested him out and, and saw how he felt so let me know if you guys want to see anybody else coming up soon Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.